Now, in this chapter now, we're talking about bond valuations. Now, remember that a bond is a debt. And what's important and where we get the financial information we need to value a bond is called the bond indenture. And we'll talk about a little bit more about that in just a second here. But it's the bond indenture that contains the financial information you need in order to value a bond. In this problem, it reads, Callahan Motors bonds have 10 years remaining to maturity. Interest is paid annually. They have a $1,000 par value or face value. The coupon interest rate or stated rate on the bond is 8% and the yield to maturity, that's in the yield to maturity now, that's the investor's required return, that's a minimum acceptable return. The yield to maturity is 9%. What is the bond's current market price? As I've told you before, when you, when you deal with bonds now as a student now, they're going to ask you to do one of two things, you either calculate the yield on the bond or they're going to ask you to calculate the price of the bond. So if they give you the yield, which they did in this problem, the question is, what's the price? If they had given us the price, then the question would have been, what's the yield? So now in this particular bond now, we're talking about a information that's in the bond indenture now. It's got a $1,000 face value, an 8% stated return, it's got 10 years remaining on its life, and it pays interest annually. And they tell us that the yield to maturity, the investor's required return, is 9%. Therefore, the question is, what's the price of the bond? Now, we're going to use the bond pricing formula to calculate the value of the bond. And you see up at the top here, which goes with the lecture part of this course now, the value of a bond is the present value of all the future cash flows. And with a bond, you have two kinds of cash flows. You have an annuity, which is the periodic payment of interest, and you have a lump sum cash flow, which is the face value of the bond, that you receive at the end of the life of the bond. Now, in this particular case, to get the annual interest the bond pays, you simply multiply the stated return on the bond times the face value. So 8% of $1,000 is $80. That's the annuity. You're going to get that every year for 10 years, and your required return, they tell us, is 9% per year. The other cash flow is the face value of the bond. And this bond's face value is $1,000. That's a lump sum cash flow that you'll get at the end of the life of the bond. $1,000 times your PVIF, N equal to 10, I equal to 9%. That's going to give you the value of the lump sum cash flow. The, the PVIFA for the annuity is 6.4177. Multiply that by $80. The value of the annuity, the present value of the annuity is $513.42. To find the present value of the lump sum cash flow, you multiply it by its present value interest factor, which turns out to be 0.4224. Multiply that by $1,000, $422.40. Add these two present values up, you find the value of the bond, the price of the bond, to be $935.82. 935.82 now, this is the intrinsic value of the bond. As an investor, this is the most you're willing to pay for the bond if your required return is 9%. If this bond were selling at a price in the market greater than this number, greater than 935.82, we wouldn't buy the bond. Because if we did, we'd get a return less than 9%. If we could buy the bond in the market for less than this, then we would because if we did, we'd get a return greater than 9%. So the yield to maturity now is your required return, your minimum acceptable return. We don't mind getting more return, but we don't want to get anything less than that. To calculate the value of this bond on a calculator now, under your payment key, you put $80. You set N equal to 10. The future value, that's a lump sum button, and this is where the face value of the bond is the thousand dollars. I is nine, nine percent, that's our that's our required return on this bond, our yield of maturity. Have you calculated or calculate the present value of all of this? And again you get 935 